Hello everybody, this is Yoko Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Seven Deadly Sins Season 3, Episode 5. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff happens in this episode. One, Elizabeth tries to make, uh, bring Derriere and the other guy back to normal using her own spell, I don't remember what it was, and with the help of the other two archangels who decide to turn against the head guy because yeah we're they essentially told Meliodas we're Lady Elizabeth's allies not yours so yeah I don't know how he's gonna ha how the stupid archangel's gonna handle that because uh yeah two people turned against him and it turns out that uh Gother not only messed with Lieutenant's mind, but she he also manipulated Ma Velascula, because she was essentially creating, making the gate to the celestial world into the gate to the demon realm to get their own allies, which makes sense. But what doesn't make sense to me is why uh, the humans would work with the demons when the demons eat human souls. Why would you work with your enemy, even if it's to get rid of the other races? <sighs> I'm guessing this was like a fringe group or something of humans, because I highly doubt the human race entirely agreed with that. Anyway, uh, the lieutenant tries to get everybody to come and defend the gate, the, the gate because, you know, they don't need that to happen. The fairies and the giants try to help, as well as the other uh, goddess race, but, um... Humans, apparently, are stronger than giants and fairies. That makes no sense. Anyway. Uh, King and Deanne are trying to go and help fix this whole thing because they sense it going on. So Meliodas stays behind with Elizabeth and to defend uh, uh, Derriere and the other guy because they're out cold at the moment. So they can't even defend themselves. And, um, they end up running into Gother. Obviously, they are shocked to see him because, uh, they had no idea that he was a seven, part of the seven, uh, com the, part of the Ten Commandments. I'm <laughs> blanking for a second. Anyway, turns out that he manipulated Melascula to not make the portal to the demon realm, but the portal to the demon realm prison. And I realized what was happening when I heard this because, like I said, I looked up a few things on not only Elizabeth and the others, but also on the Ten Commandments. Turns out that, uh, like I said before, Gother is a doll, a puppet, and the one pulling the strings, what we never saw him, essentially. So, the one pulling the strings was in that prison. So now we get to see the real Gother, and he looks nothing like his, uh, his demon self. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This all happened 3,000 years ago. So where's the real go when, where's the real Gother now? Two, why is the puppet still running around <coughs> when uh, he doesn't need it anymore? He only, need he only used it, essentially, to be able to see into the outside world while he was stuck in the prison. And, uh... Three, how is this going to change things in the future? Because King and Deanne now know this. Does... I'm assuming Meliodas knows this because he was used to be with the demons and thus he would have known Gother. But... He's seen both... I'm assuming he's seen both the original Gother and the Gother he knows now. So, what the heck is going on in his head that he hasn't stopped- uh, he hasn't mentioned anything to Gother? I don't know. Anyway, I wasn't expecting Gother to just sit around in a chair, to be completely honest. I'm assuming it's because he was stuck in that chair the whole entire time he's been there, so maybe he hasn't gotten around to being able to use his feet yet? Maybe? But I will work on more of this. If not today, I'll work on it tomorrow. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.